Ready to cruise is this 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. Powered by a 1966 Ford 289, at least that's what the heads are. Um, haven't run the numbers on the block, but assume that's all original uh, 289 in there. Motor seems to run great with new plugs, new cap, um, stock manifolds. As far as our inner fender aprons, they're all nice and solid, all on the passenger side here. Um, frame rails and stuff are super solid on this car. We do have some dents and stuff um, along here by the numbers, but the factory VIN numbers and stuff all match up. Um, no rust on those inner fenders up here. Uh, shock towers are all good. And uh, floors, frame, and trunk floor are super solid on it, so be sure to look at the undercarriage pictures. It does have a set of style steel rims, white wall tires. Um, the paint job and stuff was done, I'm guessing, around four years ago um, in that ballpark, and it has a beautiful shine. Standing here at five foot away, it looks like an absolute show car. If we get close, we do find some paint chips and a few little paint blisters here and there, but as far as the shine, the look, the straightness of the body, um, just a great looking little 67 Mustang. Front bumper was new at restoration. When I got the car in, the horse and corral was beat up a little bit, so I put a brand new horse and corral on it that was about 180 bucks. Uh, grill's original, decent shape. It's got a little spot here that's kind of cracked out, but not in bad shape at all. Front valance looks good. It does have the deluxe hood on it. Um, as far as the turn signal pieces, stuff like that, it doesn't have the wiring for that, so that'll need to be redone if you want to hook those up. As we look at our hood gap and the way the hood fits there, it lines up very nicely. The gap's nice and tight from front to back. Same thing over here on the passenger side, nice gap. Um, as far as the hood paint goes, paint on the hood looks good. We've got uh, that's buffing compound there. Got a little scratch or just a little buffing compound right back around that edge there. Other than that, standing right here, the hood looks great. Uh, we got a couple little scratches here, right here, and a couple little chips. Like I said, there's just a few little paint imperfections here and there. Um, passenger side front fender has a beautiful shine, very nice and clean. Car does have 302 emblems on it, but like I said, we pulled the heads off. Um, I pulled these heads off and put another set of heads. They're both 66, 289 heads. The other heads that came on had some valve guide issues, so I replaced them with a matching set of heads. So. Tires are look to be in great shape. They got good tread all the way around. Uh, wheel well trim is like new. Um, rocker molding is used. Um, we've got uh, some scratches and some little scuffs in the rocker molding. We got a couple little blisters right here at the front edge of that door, like three or four right there, very small. Um, other than that, our gap is great from top to bottom on their door. Windshield's nice, wiper blades are nice on there. I don't see any uh, paint imperfections on the roof. I don't see any dings or dents or anything like that. Nice and clean. Great sound and dual exhaust coming out the back. No smoke. Um, back bumper is in great shape. The uh, chrome, little chrome pieces around the uh, tail lights and stuff like that. They're pitted. Um, they're very inexpensive. A guy probably should replace those to be really nice. Back bumper looks good though. As we look up and down the sides, it's very straight body, and like I said, the main thing is just how solid this thing is, and from the factory on the floors and stuff, very solid car. No blisters behind the wheel, all nice and solid. We have some just some little tiny little blisters starting right around this wheel well trim, right in this area. Like I said, the paint's a few years old. Right here too, just a few little ones right there. We got a couple little rock chips that have been touched up right along this edge. As we look here at the uh, door handle, it's the original handle, so we do have some uh, little cracking and stuff there. If we look at our door gap on the front of the door and the back of the door, it's excellent, both sides. This quarter line matches up perfectly, so does the door, just a nice even gap. And the car has been wet sanded and buffed, so it has a beautiful red shine. 
when they did it the doors were painted off the car as well so the paint and the door jams is excellent we do have new scuff plates on it inside all here is all red like I said it was jammed and done very nicely um, door panels and armrest all look good window cranks and, ar and door cranks are the original so you have a few little pits on them new door stoppers corners of the doors perfect no rust in that corner bottoms of the doors are solid um, seats and carpet and everything I'm guessing was all done it looks like at the time of restoration about uh, four or five years ago dash pad is excellent dash looks nice uh, steering wheel does have some cracks on it guys so to uh, for the rest of the interior to look as nice as the steering wheel to look as nice as the rest of the interior I'd probably replace that steering wheel it's got a hearse four speed in it shifter which is great a lot of people like these four speeds kind of hard to find anymore Sorry about that. Um, back carpet looks good. We got uh, two seat belts in the back, two seat belts in the front. Dome light works, and that look is a brand new dome light and chrome around there. It's got nice visors. Um, headliner looks great. I don't personally see any uh, rips or tears or any small holes anywhere. It looks really nice. Back door panels, the plastic pieces look great. Um, back shelf looks nice. The seat backs are nice. Just a really nice interior. The main thing I see with the interior is the shifter boot has got a tear in it. Also when they restored it, it looks like they put new felts in. Um, the door rubbers are not replaced, they're older. They still look like they work, but um, here's another thing. The window lines up pretty nicely all the way across the side here. This car has a beautiful look and a beautiful shine. Except for those little imperfections, it's just a great looking Mustang. Um, trunk lid really doesn't line up too bad here. Fits nice across the rear quarter. Same thing over here on the driver's side. We got a couple little chips right along that paint, like the edge there. And we got a couple tiny little blisters starting just on the very edge, not on the bottom lip, but just below the letters. Three or four of those. Yeah, this driver's side, like I said, it's wet sand and buff beautifully. Um, just looks really sharp. These little marker lights, and like I said, these little lights here, the chrome around there, I think they're like 10 bucks a piece or something. I would replace those. I'd also replace these, uh, pop metal pieces down here the chrome and the pop metals is starting to look like crap um we got a couple little rock chips and they touched it up with just just a little darker red right down in there so it's not perfect but nice no blisters over this wheel at all um we had a three or four little tiny little blisters right up in front of that wheel and we got a little i don't know if it's kind of a paint Maybe some sand scratches or something right up in here. Some little deeper sand scratches. Also, just like on the other side, we had some rock chips right along this edge that have been touched up. Um, our door gap from top to bottom and the way the fender lines up to the quarter is perfect. I don't know, I'm not sure, if these uh, had quarter panels put on them or not. If they did, they really lined them up nicely to the door. Driver's side front fender is in excellent shape. As we look down at the bottom, I don't see any blisters. I do see a couple little paint chips again that have been touched up, very small. Um, our gap's nice and even from top to bottom. Um, bottom corner of the door on this side looks really good. Roof rail rubbers are original and so are the door rubbers. So they're a little harder, but uh, still seem to do the purpose, fit their purpose. I am missing a clip on this remote mirror right here. The remote mirror works, but I'm missing a clip. It should have a new remote mirror. Door panel's nice. Um, driver's side seat's in great shape, same as a passenger. Just a really nice interior. Jams look clean.
It's a hot day in Iowa. It's about oh, probably 95 today. Um, with that being said, um, temperature's running right in the middle between cold and hot, so it does not overheat. Oil pressure's good on it. Um, alternator gauge works, gas gauge works, and speedometer works. Wipers work. Heater fan works. Uh, radio does not work, guys. It turns on, but it's just an old crappy AM FM, so that definitely probably needs to be replaced. Um, our kick panels look to be in great shape. Our carpet's nice. Like I said, we've got this, this shifter boot needs to be replaced. It's about a $10 item. I haven't got that done yet. As far as this little 289, it runs excellent. Shifts super smooth, first, second, third. Really goes down the road nice. Um, previous owner drove this car to us. He lived about 150 miles away and he drove it up to sell it to us. So, I mean, it's definitely a driver. It's had a new battery, it's had new battery ends. It's had a new water pump. Just a lot of little odds and ends stuff's been replaced on it. It's got new head gaskets since I went ahead and put the different heads on it. As far as our brakes go, the brake pedal's a little hard, but you have a full pedal and uh, absolutely no pull right or left. So the wheel cylinders and stuff are really evenly spaced out. This car drives great. Um, four speed shifts just like it should. Car goes down the road 60 mile an hour. Does not need an alignment. Um, just a fantastic driving old Mustang, guys. Little V8 two barrel runs well. It's got plenty of power. Just jump in and drive it. Um, it's got a few little imperfections as far as the paint goes. and. And uh, it wouldn't take much at all to make this a super nice car, guys. But mechanically, it's a driver right now.